Hi, this is George from Iki. I'm here today in the beautiful city of uh, Bratislava in uh, Slovakia. Uh, we are looking at, a, at an integrated solution today where we linked an Iki system into the Crestron ecosystem. We did a similar video already a couple of uh, weeks ago. Back then it was a standalone system. We have added now uh, a few pieces of, of func functionality and uh, converted it into a network capable system. If I went, for example, here into my, in, into my administration menu, apart from managing the lights or climate or checking energy consumption, I could also administrate my finger, finger scanner. For that, I would just hit on the biometric uh, icon here and then click up there. And uh, as you can see, my profile has already been added into the system. Uh, so I can come and go anytime I feel like. We haven't installed the actual finger scanner, but just to present uh, the concept of the solution, basically, since I've already been registered, I only need to swipe my finger across the, the scanner, and as you can see, the door unlocks automatically. Okay, the uh, integration of the finger scanner is uh, in this particular uh, case a part of a, a larger project. As you can see here, the different icons for managing light, lights, uh, the climate, energy, security, uh, such a, a biometric section has been added. I could use for the administration of uh, fingerprint templates, for the um, configuration of uh, new fingers, uh, finger scanners in order to create a, a network capable uh, biometric access control system within the Crestron ecosystem. Uh, in terms of uh, wiring, um, what we basically did was we linked the uh, finger scanner directly into a Crestron controller through an RS-485 interface uh, and uh, we are using the relay contacts of the controller, of the Crestron controller, in order to uh, unlock a front door or, for instance, arm respectively disarm an intrusion alarm system. At the end of the day, it's a simple relay contact we are working with, so we can literally wire it up with uh, anything working on electricity and controlling it through the unique fingerprint. Okay, we are going to uh, go now here on the Crestron touch panel into the biometric section. If I wanted to add now another finger scanner into the installation, I would just uh, click here on the E key icon and uh, subsequently I would go into the settings in here. Uh, the only thing actually in order to register now a new terminal, a new finger scanner into the installation uh, would be by adding here first of all a name of the location of my finger scanner, for example, my front door. Next, I need to enter the serial number, 802 Maybe I made a mistake. Yeah, there is actually one mistake here. Okay, and at the end, I just need to enter the license code. It's FZ. M T D V F V three S T sixty six 
A, D, B, Z. Okay. And that's about it. Save device. And after a couple of seconds, the status LED of the finger scanner will turn blue, indicating that the finger scanner has been successfully added. Uh, once we have uh, finished the uh, installation of the first uh, finger scanner into my Crestron ecosystem, I could actually go back now and uh, add a first user into my system. For that purpose, I just go into the corresponding section, enter and enter my first name, for instance, here. Then in my case, since I'm right-handed, I would now define my right index finger to be my main key for unlocking the front door. So basically I just need to select it here. After that, I hit the enroll button. And uh, once I have uh, clicked the enroll button, as you can see here, the finger scanner sets itself into this uh, uh, enrollment mode. So basically I just need to swipe my finger now across this small golden bar, this is the sensor, this is where we need to capture the information. In order to register fingerprint templates into the database, we need to get three green lights, three good swipes. Once uh, this has been carried out, the template, uh, the data we just registered is uh, distributed across the, the, the network automatically. This, as a matter of fact, is some new functionality we have uh, recently added now with uh, this uh, in, the, in this latest version. Um, whereas in the original software, we were only looking at a standalone system. Uh, we have added now a, uh, a network capability, which would allow us to uh, link a number of finger scanners into one installation and carry out the, the administration centrally through the Crestron touch panel here. Uh, the software here on the right right hand side would still give me the the opportunity of uh, defining of defining time time zones respectively time windows uh, for the purpose of this demonstration I'm not going to make any changes here uh, basically I just save now the information to complete this registration process and as you can see here on the left left hand side a new finger a new profile has been created if I now still clicked here a bit longer, I could actually uh, change the assignment of my finger scanner. So at the moment, um, I use my right index finger for unlocking the front door. I could, however, also register a second finger scanner, uh, which I could link to that silent alarm in order to um, trigger a silent uh, alarm if I had to, to use the system under duress. Um, I'm not going to make any changes here at this point of time. Let me just uh, go back in here and maybe swipe my finger one last time across the sensor just to present the application. And as you can see here, the lock-in system unlocks itself automatically. Okay, uh, if I wanted to delete now a user, a profile from the system again, the only thing I would have to do is uh, long pressing on the user I would like to remove from the system. And as you can see, it already says here, delete user. So I would just click on here and confirm the, um, the uh, removal of the system. Uh, that's about it. If I s just to basically verify the the routine, as you can see, the fingers, uh, the finger that uh, had had uh, previously been uh, registered was now rejected, and I could now just go back into my main section where I see the most important information: my log file of the uh, finger scanner. Once again, if I just 
swiped an unregistered finger across the sensor, after just a second it will pop up as an unknown entry attempt.